everyone welcome to the computer class today we are going to continue chapter 15 string handling the objectives of my today's topic are you will learn equals method and equals ignore case method open your book at page 406 the equals method compares two strings to check whether they are equal or not. If the strings are equal, then it will return true, else it will return false. Students, let us consider the program 15.9. Here, two strings are there, string 1 equals to computer, string 2 is equals to computer in which both are having C in upper case. Rest, all the characters are in lower case. So, when I will write the function dot equals, if the condition will be true, then it will print both strings are equal, else it will print both strings are not equal. So, here, as the values are seen, computer and computer, so the output is both strings are equal. Now we will learn the difference between double is equal to and equals method. Students, what is double is equal to? Yes, it is a relational operator. So this double is equal to is used for primitive data types. Primitive means, yes, basic data types like int, char, short, long, etc. And this equals method, it can be used for reference data type. See on page 407. Here, word 1 is storing the string Java and word 2 is also storing the string Java means this word 1 and word 2 are referring to the same object. So, when the addresses stored in word 1 and word 2 are same, both double is equals to and equals method will return true. Let us consider another schematic representation of it. Now, here word 1 is having the word Java that is located somewhere in the memory. And word 2 is also referring to the string Java, which is also located in some another position in the memory. So, in this case, when addresses stored in word 1 and word 2 are different, so the equality operator will return false and equals operator will return true. The next topic is equals ignore case method. Yes, as the name suggests, ignore case. So, this method compares two strings to check whether they are equal or not after ignoring their case. So, if I store the word computer and computer in string 1 and string 2, both in the lower case, so, string 1 dot equals ignore case string 2, it will return the boolean value, means true or false, or according to the system dot out dot print ln statement. Now, in string 1, I have written all the word characters computer in lower case. In string 2, comp is in upper case and UTER is in lower case. But this is equals ignore case method. So it will not consider the cases and will return the output that both strings are equal. Syntax of equals ignore cases string 1 dot equals ignore case. Students to practice the program 15.9 and 15.10. We will be continuing the chapter in the next session. Thank you.